Lord, in the name of the living God, we thank God so much for this morning. Uh, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, O oh God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise because you are an excellent God. We thank you for a new week, O oh Lord. We thank you that, Father, you've created this week just to bless us, just to increase us, O oh Lord, and to meet with us. This morning, we give you all the glory and all the honor. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We thank you for the weekend of God. We thank you for rest. And we thank you for that which you have for us this week. We know it is good. Thank you for the enlargement of God. Father, we commit this meeting this morning in your hands. We ask that your presence will be with us, Lord. Your presence will lead this meeting. Father, we turn this morning devotion into the altar of God, the yes. morning devotion of the Lord himself, where, Father, you yourself lead the meeting. Father, come and lead the meeting this morning. Bring your children together this morning to worship you, with God. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the adoration of God. May your name be lifted up high above all names of God. We say hallelujah to you this morning, Jehovah. We invite your presence. Come and take over now and forever. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we go into our time of worship. Where would I go with the your hand holding me And how could I live without you I can't see Lord what would I do in life Where would I go How would I handle things All that I know Is I'm
short machine. What would he you hear? Know, you I'm know from the, from the start. You know my heart. Everybody say.
Amen. We thank God so much for this time of worship. We'll go into our Bible reading. Today we are skipping the prayer time and we'll go into our Bible reading. We have a little change and Pastor Tunji will explain it. Um, so our Bible reading today is Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 1 to 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 1 to 10 and Sister Shadia will be reading for us. Sister Shadia, are you there? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, good morning. The Bible reading for today is taken from, the, from Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 1 through 10, and I read. The words of Jeremiah, son of Elkiah, of the priests who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the 13th year of his reign. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, until the end of 11th year of Zedekiah, son of Jos Josiah, king of Judah, until the carrying away of Jerusalem into captivity in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, behold, I formed you in the womb. I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you and appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am only a youth. But the word, but the Lord said to him, Say not, I am only a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I shall send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Be not afraid of them, their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have, I have this day appointed you to the oversight of the nations and of the kingdoms to root out and pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. And here comes the end of the reading. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Today being Monday, we are introducing from today uh, intercession for the week, every Monday. And in this intercession for the week, we give the charge and then we go straight to a personal moment with God, which in itself is an intercession time, both for your life, particularly for the word of the day, and then for your life opening of the week. So there will not be general prayers on Monday, but rather 
first you pray on the charge of the week, a uh, charge of the day, sorry, and then pray for the week for yourself the way you want it. You open up your week before the Lord. So in starting this today, I want us to see something why we're doing this because the Lord gave me that indication. You need to possess your week. And what better time and day to do that than the first day of the week, the working week, in our early morning devotion program. And how come that? Come with me to Genesis 22, see God speaking to Abraham from the beginning. In verse 17, that in blessing I will bless thee, multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven. And as the sand which is upon the seashore, thy seed, watch that word, shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. But after thy seed shall possess the gates of thy enemies, and in thy seed, you see a semicolon there, and then he said, and in thy seed shall, thy, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. This powerful promise was given to Abraham for his seed. And if you read Galatians carefully, Galatians tells us we are actually the seed of Abraham. We that our faith, as Isaac was, Galatians said, are the seed of Abraham. The church, Abraham's seed, as this promise from God. To possess the gates of our enemies. I believe you know that you have enemies. It's not just that guy who didn't like you at work alone. It's not just somebody. No, 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 no. You have an enemy. His name is the devil. And you have enemies here that won't let you go. <laughs> so the whole heart is filled with the habitation of cruelty. In their order, right from the devil to his principalities and powers and the rulers of darkness of this world, manifesting even physically here in life. Since the day you said, Jesus, Son of God, I submit to you today, be my Lord and Master. You became an eternal enemy of the devil. And his mission is to kill. If you can't kill, destroy. If you can't destroy, steal all that you have. Your joy, your peace, your comfort. Your children, your work, everything. We need to know that. Ends the call for this spiritual warfare. If I rather call it spiritual warfare for you today. Hence, we read from Jeremiah this morning. And hear what the Lord told him. He said, look, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou come, camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet to the nations. You need to stand in the place of your life today. <laughs> I, I, when I say, but Lord, what you are talking about, I don't even know. I can't even take care of myself. I don't even know who I am. I don't know this. I don't have that. Like many of you are there now hearing me, and you are wondering what is he talking about. I'm looking for somebody to pray for me. I, I need somebody to do this for me. He said, no, you first. He said, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched his mouth, and the Lord said unto me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Be not afraid of their faces. Don't think the prayers you you pray for yourself or a situation today needs somebody else to pray for you. 
He says, see, I have this day set you. This is somebody who is saying, I'm a child. He said, I've set you even over the nation. I've set you over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and then to plant. It's a principle that we need to take. We're not only here to tear down the works of darkness, the barricades of the evil one. We're also here to build and to plant. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, listen, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. We're on the mountain of prayer this morning, which we intend to be doing uh, every Monday. Rear up an altar of spiritual warfare. I get it now. Remember the story of Jabesh? He had to take it by his hands. He went before the Lord God of Israel saying, it's time, you have to bless me now. You have to let your hand be with me now. And when it comes to doing things like this, it begins first from uh, uh, the cleansing of oneself, the cleansing of one's heart. The submission, or I use the word, the dedication of oneself to him and to his will. It said, if we forgive not, neither will our Heavenly Father forgive us. We come before the Lord. Lord, come into my life afresh, create a clean hand at me. You see, because the Lord you don't make up with, you can't really stand to exercise authority by him. So I want to dedicate, Sorry. please, uh, note yourselves. I want to dedicate today primarily to personal, and I use the word very carefully because it's all about you today. Glory to God. To yourself, rededicating yourself before the Lord, personal consecration and service, rededicating your ways to the Lord, rededicating your will to the Lord, some of the songs we sang this morning, I chose them carefully. Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you. A lot of us, the problem is over uh, uh, estimation of self. The Bible says, if you judge yourself, you shall not be judged. I taught a message in church yesterday because the Lord gave me. Many people are already off. They just don't know it yet. They have already backslidden from God. They just don't know it yet. Or they, not that they don't know it, they don't, they don't know it, but because it, it's not real. The Bible says the backslider in the earth is full of his own ways. Quietly, you've cut off God without knowing it. Go, going to worship him with other saints is not really an issue for you again. And you just take this like a destically. That's, you have, the such is already gone. It's going, 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 gone. People backsliding don't just of course, some, some can be so drastic. It doesn't just come drastic. You just discover that you have no flair for him again. You have no flair for his house again. You're just, just cutting him off here, cutting him off here. He's still okay. I'm a Christian. I go when I feel like. I do when I... He's just going. There's a need for a rededication. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. My feet shall stand within thy gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a city built and compact together. There more, once that excitement in going is not there again, once that, that passion in going there again, once one little excuse can take you up there, take you up there, by going without knowing that we see that so much these days that it just becomes so, ah, no, 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 no. The Lord told me, please sound the alarm. Then they are going without knowing. They, they are thinking in their minds. 
that says there, you are not there. Because the passion is God. He said, as they have passed after the brook of water, so does my law, so long after you, the longer the passion is. Hence, a rededication, a, 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 a reconsecration. Ask for the fire of the Lord back into your heart. He was talking of the altar in, in the sanctuary. He said, and the fire must never go out. Today, as you stand in prayer and consecration for yourself, don't talk about not anybody else. It is time to say, Lord, help me today. And you deal with those things that stops you from having control, complete control of your life for Him. A clean heart, a clean slate. Glory to God. Even before you want to pray for anyone or anything, you must clear yourself first. Psalm 139. O oh Lord, search me and know me. He went on further to say, you know my sitting down. You know my rising up. You understand my thoughts are far off. There is not a word in my mouth, in my tongue, but, oh, Lord, thou knowest it all together. You know me. Lord, help me. If I started by telling me over the weekend, Peridian's times are here. We read things from the Bible. We think they are coming. They are here. That's what the New Testament tells us. He said, for perilous times are here, and many shall fall away. Lord, I don't want to fall away. Help me not to fall away. This, this lackadaisical, he said, I would that you are either cold or hot, and because you are warm, you are not cold, you are not hot, I will spill you out of my mouth. Of the wind. We need to bring the fire back into our hearts. Hence, we begin today with just for yourself in your life with God. You need that fire back. You need that excitement back. You need that joy back that keeps driving you, that passion that takes you back to Him every now and then. The destiny is in your own hands. I've had people say, Well, a lot of things are going on in my life now. I'm just taking some time off. And when you say you are taking time, so what you are saying is from coming to church, from attending spiritual meetings, from focusing on what you need to be doing spiritually. But check, do it one more, ask them one more. So what have you done? It's not as if you took time to go and settle down with God to take hold of something. No. It's just that that aspect you cut off or every other thing you are doing, what we change? Nothing. It will rather grow worse. And before you know it, you just get used to not being there with him. It doesn't work that way. The backslider, the Bible says, in the heart is full of his own ways. We need to wake up. He says, I wake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. The environment today, the situations in life today, the circumstances around the world today is making it easier for multitudes to just fall away without knowing it until they come to discover that, oh, I'm gone. It begins like this. Hence, every Monday, we are going to be doing a refiring from now. Every Monday. Until God gives us another light or direction. A session, just for yourself, the way you want to drive yourself back into God. Into the hands of the Almighty. And I pray today that the Lord of heaven himself will receive your supplication. But be sincere with God and let your heart open up. Lord, I need you. I need you. My time with you cannot be, could not have been the reason why things were going wrong. In fact, it's the lack of it that is the reason. Go to your 
one room in prayer this morning and say, Lord, I need you desperately. A lot of us don't understand it. The root of all our problems uh, is spiritual. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. Have a breakthrough there this morning and see breakthroughs follow you all through the week. Glory to God. He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wives of the devil. The devil just keep giving you what you call genuine excuses. <laughs> he said, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in high places, whom Jesus defeated for us anyway. But we need to take hold of that defeat and take strength from God. He said, come you boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is an hour of need. Many are falling away. When you read that, you just say, oh, it's in the world, but check yourself. Many are falling away. And that's why the Holy Spirit is pumping me to put us on this slide. No, you first. You first. Go before the Lord. Lord, cleanse me of this waywardness. Cleanse me of this lack of destiny. Cleanse me of every black, black slide in me. Cleanse me. And let the fire be reignited in my heart. I need you. I need you. I need you more than anything in my life. This is the moment you are standing for yourself. I need you, Lord of heaven. That's your cry this morning. So I'm going to release us for the next 15 minutes. This goes back to the issue of the personal prayer moment. I'm written, today is just going like that. Every Monday now we go in that order. Just go before the Lord. You see, when the fire of the Lord is in, you hear clearer, you see brighter. The impact of this war is what comes. Said, take not the Holy Spirit from me, renew my heart afresh. I don't want to take all the time. I believe I've said enough for our heart to capture this morning. Let's go before the Lord and we'll be back together. Just you, you. Open up yourself to the Lord, and we'll be back together shortly. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lake Cross.
glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Please remember that great woman called Hannah. We know her today as the mother of someone. Everything was upside down for her. You know her story. Until she stood by herself before the Lord. Many of the times, the real missing link in our lives, standing before the Lord by ourselves. I told people in church yesterday, the more of God you need in your life, not less. But that if inside that more of God is you standing for yourself, by yourself, with the passion of your heart, because you know how is it with you? It's more of God you need in your life. Pursue after it. And I know as you have opened up your heart to the Lord this morning, He had you, He received you, He accepted you, and it's released fire into your soul. It, it, Maya said, It's like fire shoved up in my bones, and I cannot forbear. There's a force of the Spirit that when it is fired into you, <laughs> You can't hold back anymore. May that same fire be fired into your heart today in the name of Jesus. I love that book by A.W. Tosa, A Blaze for God. May that same fire be fired into your soul this morning. It's the more of God we need in our lives. And as you go with him again into this week, this week is declared open for you, for your good, for your good. That net of wickedness thrown over you, catching you as a fish from the ocean of destiny and life, choking you that you can't just pull out. That net is called the snare, is broken this morning. He said, our soul is escaped as a snare out of the, uh, as a bird out of the snare of the fowl. Why? Because the snare is broken and we are escaped. That snare of evil is broken. Out there choking you is broken this morning. In the name of Jesus. He said, and there was great joy because God has made them rejoice. May the joy of the Lord again be fired into your soul this morning. In the name of Jesus. Go in peace today. This week is declared open for you. Go into the field and reap the harvest. No evil be known with you this week. No issue of sorrow be known with you this week. Wherever sorrow has been in your heart, the joy of the Lord overwhelms it today. In the name of Jesus. Every stumbling block on your path this week is taken away. In the name of Jesus. And that good news you are waiting for. Oh God, why did it not come last week? I thought it was to come last week or two weeks ago. What is going on? <laughs> the snare is broken. You will receive it this week. In the name of Jesus. Well, let's give God thanks again for another time in his presence. Another week that he has opened for us. In case you still feel the tumbling in your heart, so continue with prayer. Please don't say because morning devotion is over today. I'm going, no, stay back where you are. I'm exhausted from your heart. That's how we do prayers. When it's there, you have to exhaust it. Amen? Jesus is Lord. Tomorrow is another day. Remember, this program runs Monday through Friday. And tomorrow is another day, 5 a.m. Mountain Time. And we will be here again in the presence of the Lord.
Glory to God. Let's share the goodness together this morning. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. Go in peace. Enjoy the goodness of God this week and return tomorrow morning with joy and celebration in your heart. Jesus is Lord.